Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition for Friday, March 24th. SOMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV Video Production Program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jalen. And here's what we have for you this week. The Team Fly for a Cure Cancer Fundraising Team was organized by Emily Garibrandt for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, in which the 20-member team placed second in the state drive raising $88,535 during the Maryland Student Visionaries of the Year campaign. They were recognized along with other teams at the gala held on March 4th at the BWI Marriott Hotel in Linthicum Heights. Garibrandt, who is a sophomore at St. Mary's Riken High School, said, I was honestly thrilled. It was so great to see our hard work pay off. The Fly for a Cure team has taken part in six of the fundraiser's seven years and have raised more than $1 million over that time. Some state school systems eye later start time. When the Howard County Board of Education voted last month to start the school date later, it became the second Maryland jurisdiction in just two years to push back its school start time. The movement for the later school, school start time has gained momentum for decades. Those efforts have come to fruition as Howard County passed a revolutionary to push its high school start time to 8 a.m. The historic St. Mary's City, City Executive Director, Regina Faden, is stepping down after 15 years. The museum will be searching above ground for its future as it looks to replace her once she officially steps down on June 2nd. Regina said about her 15 years working there that, My job as director, and anybody in leadership, is to leave a place better than they found it, to set it up for the future, and that has been accomplished. New prices hike for water and sewer services proposed. Budget season in Charles County officially got underway on Tuesday morning, and it came with a not-so-welcome surprise for residents with water and sewer bills, the average of whom could be paying $120 more a year for services. The initial look included a review of the water and sewer fund, which are proposed to top out at $54.7 million and a $6 million increase from last year. Now turning to sports. Last week, Crowns received relatively good news as he is going to be elected into the Maryland Football Coaches Hall of Fame. Crowns guided the Panthers to a 2A-1A state title game last fall, dropping a very tough 22-13 decision to defending state champion Dunbar. Calvary seeking state championship repeat. Having parted with only one seed in starting from their 2A state championship squad a year ago, the Calvert High School softball coach Lauren Robinson admit the bar has been set equally high this year as Calvert seeks successfully defending their crown when their season begins Friday, March 24th against North Point. That's all we have for you on the Friday, March 24th edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jalen. Signing, signing off. off.